Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Thursday afternoon, February 13th, 2025. 4.04 p.m. California time here. 5.9 earthquake into the Alaska area right now. Uh, the latest quake on the globe. It is along the subduction zone here, about nine miles deep. Uh, just do upstream here from a previous earthquake this morning. So watch this area. 5.9 is a very minimal earthquake compared to what this major subduction zone can produce. But uh, that is the largest quake so far today. Also watching a uh, pretty decent swarm going on here across the Hayward Fault. In fact, some newer activity at the northern end of the Hayward Fault following a swarm of activity further down south here. we got to watch this fault system very closely. I think it's about ready to pop. Uh, earlier in the afternoon here, a series of 3.0 earthquakes, the largest of 3.7 in the cluster here along the Hayward Fault. And the more recent one, again, up north here, 12 miles deep for a 2.4 off the Hayward Fault. Now, the Hayward Fault... Very capable of producing an upper six to low seven magnitude earthquake. In fact, the last big earthquake was back in 1868. Uh, the fault itself is about 119 kilometers long. That's 74 miles long. It does run through some highly densely populated areas, including Richmond, Berkeley, Oakland, all those areas. Big time concrete jungles down there. Um, now, again, 1868, right? That's uh, quite a ways a uh, long time ago. Well over 100 and, uh, 130 years, 140 years or so, more than that. So uh, th there's a potential here uh, in relation to the Rogers Creek Fault Zone that uh, the two could be linked. Uh, ro the uh, Rogers Creek Fault a little bit further upstream from the Hayward Fault. Uh, if those two rupture at the same time, a magnitude could be in the range of a 7.2. That would be uh, a pretty powerful earthquake. Uh, and that's uh, something that, uh, you know, could be not good. In October 2016, scientists found uh, definitive evidence that the Rogers Creek Fault and the Hayward Fault are linked together underneath the San Pablo Bay. Simultaneous rupture of the connected Hayward-Rogers Creek Fault, which is fairly lengthy, from north of Harrellsburg down to Alum Rock in San Jose, could result in a major earthquake of a magnitude 7.4. So, of course, the longer the fault system, the more likelihood of seeing a, a major earthquake on it. Uh, so, we, we got to watch this pretty closely here, folks. Again, a lot of time has passed. Uh, estimated magnitude between the 6.3 to 6.7 from that 1868 earthquake. Now, they do put out, uh, the USGS did put out a little probability here. Well, that's a little bit too big. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's go back here. That'll work. Hayward Fault, well, anywhere in the Bay Area, they got a 62% probability of one or more magnitude 6.7 or greater earthquakes uh, from 2003 to 2032. And, uh, of course, we're well into that time frame here. The Hayward Fault is well constrained here. It's a, uh, an area that's been building up quite a, strain, uh, quite a bit of strain here for a number of years. Uh, the average time between the last five major events here on the Hayward Fault average about 140 years here. So if you do the math, right, the 140th anniversary of the 1868 earthquake was back in 2008. That was actually a long time ago. I mean, technically speaking, it's 2025. So we're well over the 140-year interval. Looking at a, a very large potential here of seeing an earthquake soon. And I, I'd say that because these type of swarms here on a fault system that is well overdue, these could very well be four shocks. Again, the latest quake of 2.4 following movement down south here on the Hayward Fault. For whatever reason, the USGS only has an option to show the ocean view. I don't know what happened here, but uh, actually, I think I know what's happening. Their, their normal map's not loading and I'm guessing it's because they've updated their map here, Gulf of America. So this is kind of a neat little view. Shows the cities and whatnot. <coughs> but um, yeah, so that's a lot of activity striking on a fault system. And it's showing here, I'll just go with the ocean view uh, so we can see all the faults. Here's the Hayward Fault, branches off of the Calaveras Fault Zone, the Rogers Creek uh, uh, fault up here. That's the one where they're talking about if this whole thing ruptures, we could see an up, 
uh, up around a 7.4 magnitude earthquake. But notice that. Swarm down here. And these are not little bitty microquakes. These are all, you know, two range up in the upper threes. Uh, 3.7, the largest. Short time later, movement further up, up along the plate boundary or the uh, fault system here. So watch that pretty closely, folks. I would keep an eye on it. Uh, I have issued an earthquake watch here for the California area. It's been in effect for a couple days, and I will continue to keep that up due to the elevated seismic activity that's happening around the California area right now. Northern California has been bombarded with a lot of earthquake up here. Southern California recently with a swarm on the San Andreas Fault. In between the two right now, we got the Hayward Fault acting up. So 6.7, uh, even a 6.7 down here would be a bad day for the folks as this a, a major populated area. Look at that. Some of the densest populated regions in the states exist right here in the East Bay. So uh, be prepared. Something could be coming here real soon. Uh, let's go ahead and check out that earthquake up in Alaska. It's holding steady as a 5.9. No tsunami statement with this. I'm sure it's, they always just put it out just in case, but there, there's not going to be. It's too small of an earthquake. You start getting in the uh, upper 7, 8, and 9 range for the Aleutian Trench. Oh, then, yeah, no doubt we could see a tsunami. But everything looks good as far as that goes right now. 5.9 uh, automatic status. Let's see what we got for some of these magnitudes. No stations contributed, but they're coming up with a 5.9. All right. Looks like it's showing up as a 5.9 as well. So maybe a 5.6. Maybe there's two in there. We'll have to cover this and uh, more in tonight's update. I just wanted to get this information out on the swarm and the activity stirring up in the San Francisco Bay Area on the Hayward Fault. I haven't seen that in a long time here. These could very well be foreshocks to something much bigger, folks. Stay on guard. We'll be back out here a little bit later tonight unless something major happens between then. Stay safe. Make sure you download the early alert uh, earthquake notification app. It's called MyShake. You can get it on your Android, your iPhone, whatever device you use. It's Trust me, it's worth having. It could save you a few seconds there uh, before the uh, waves come in.